Welcome back to Primetime News and a very special welcome to those of you joining us online at onespotmedia.com. Now up first this evening, the Prime Minister Andrew Holness on Sunday went into great detail about the government's crime plan. He indicated a maximum security prison will be built that is cut off from certain technology so that criminals can't interact with the outer world in order to put out murders and other crime requests. Now, Duane Anderson listened to the speech and has this report. The party atmosphere inside the national arena reached fever pitch when Prime Minister Andrew Holness and his wife, Member of Parliament, Julie Holness, shared this lighter moment, which was sealed with a kiss. Then it was back to more serious business, chief among them crime. Mr. Holness gave an update on the gun amnesty, which ended Saturday. Over 90 weapons were turned in with over 2,500 rounds of ammunition. Let me tell you, this surprised me. I didn't expect so many. The exact number of guns surrendered during the amnesty is still to be clarified. But what is clear is that thousands of illegal weapons are still in the hands of criminals. It is why Mr. Holness said the government will continue to reward whistleblowers who share information with the police that lead to the seizure of guns. And as it relates to a potential increase in people being placed behind bars for illegal guns, Mr. Holness explained that plans are well advanced for a new prison. It has been on the books for some time, but we just didn't finalize the plans and the cost. I have given instructions that the high security facility with a communications dead spot be built. We will have a prison with a communication dead spot that we can put our high-valued criminals in terms, they are not high-valued, they are no value, but our high-risk criminals. We can put them in facilities where they cannot influence crime and murders. Last week, the Prime Minister declared several states of emergency across 10 police divisions and Mr. Holness insists the measures are working. Yesterday, four murders occurred in Jamaica. Four. One was by the gun. Three by stabbings. Already, the measures are having an impact. He therefore called on the PNP to assist in making the measures even more effective. We see the current levels of murder as an emergency. And we invite the opposition to share this perspective in having the recently declared state of public emergency extended. Dwayne Anderson, TVG News.